Hola, Francisco. Hola, Elsa, ¿cómo está? Bien, ya no les pude compartir el té ayer. Ay, por Dios. No me vino, todos nos quedamos esperando. Sí, nos <risa> iba a pegar con sus qué? Eh? Uvas, uvas congeladas. Uvas, congela uvas congeladas. <risa> Buena combinación. Sí. <risa> Pero qué bueno, Pero aquí estamos de quería, nuevo. Susi quería café. Ajá. <risa> Y no se ha conectado. No se ha conectado. Ya la vamos a fregar. Sí. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Very good, teacher. Okay, very good. Give me a second. I need to connect the battery. Give me a second. <coughs> Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. How was your day? How Very was hard. Your... Normally, hard? teacher. Normal? Hard, teacher. Yeah, it's very hot. It's very hot. The temperature is, is high. The temperature is high. Right? Okay, so um, welcome back. Remember when you say what, what's the difference between good evening and good night? What's the difference? Good night, good night is para despedirse. Sleep. Good night is when you say goodbye, when you go to sleep. Uh, good evening, evening. How many syllables do you hear in evening? Two. It's not evening, it's not evening, it's evening, it's evening. Let me show you this uh, expression. Don't take my word. What's the meaning of that expression? Don't take my word. A mí no me crea. Eso significa don't take my word. A mí no me crea. Uh, váyase a cualquier diccionario en inglés y pone la palabra evening. And pronunciation will tell you that evening has only two syllables. La palabra evening solamente tiene dos sílabas. So that's how we do it. All right. So let's begin by, how do you say pasar lista in English? 
attendance. Check the attendance. Uh -huh. Take the attendance. Take the attendance. So when you hear your name, you activate uh, your camera, please. Alex Martinez. Francisco Godinez. Present. Good. Delmi Gomez. Present. Good. Kenya Ruiz. Juan. Men uh, Kenya, okay, you're here. Good. Uh, Juan Mene Menedemo. No? Okay. Uh, William Perez. Susana Jimenez. Here I am. Thank you. Uh, Jose Corea. Jose Corea. Judy Cuellar. Present. Teacher. Good, very good. Carlos Avendaño. Okay. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemi Vasquez. Noemi, Noemi. Hola, hola. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm here. Good. Lisette de Paz. Lisette de Paz. Okay. Uh, Ruben Campos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Helen Barraza. Moises Rodriguez. Maricela Velasquez. Thank you. Iris Cañas. Iris, Iris. Okay, Reina Martinez. And Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, let's begin. Yes. No me menciono. What's yeah, me? Carmen Calderón. Uh, presente. ¿Estuvo Moisés. presente ayer Carmen Calderón? No, ayer no. Ajá, por eso, permítame. Carmen Calderón. Ok. ¿Quién más? Andrea Vázquez. Sí. Andrea Vázquez. Ok, tampoco estuvo ayer aquí, ¿verdad? Andrea. Ok. No, tía, tampoco. Okay. ok, Moisés Rodríguez, ya lo tengo acá. Present. Ok, anybody else? ¿Alguien más? Ana Mercedes, teacher. Uh, ¿Estuvo presente ayer? ¿Were you present? Mm. No. Ok, Ana Mercedes. What's your last name? Amaya Corado. Ok, thank you. Anybody else? All right, let's begin. What's today's date? What's today's date, people? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday what? 15th. 15th. Which month? March. March, uh-huh. What year? 2022. Yes, very good, 2022. So today is March 15, 2022 or 2022. All right, so um, let's begin. Do you remember the topics that we covered yesterday? What topics did we cover yesterday? ¿Qué tema vimos ayer? Eh, teacher, yo no estuve, pero vi un poquito el video. Este, use the can and can't. Right, can and can't, right. What is the function of can? Hoy vamos a arrancar con can and can't. What's the function of that model? ¿Para qué sirve can? Para decir poder. 
Exactly. To, ex to express um, abilities. To express abilities. Right. Okay. Expresar habilidades. Um, question so far. Recuerde que Ken va a ser el primer model. Aquí se lo voy a poner. Los models. We use models all the time. Todo el tiempo ocupamos models. This level, the first one is going to be Ken. Ken lo ocupamos para hablar de habilidades. For example. Can you play basketball? Right there. Ahí está en el no, chat. Can yes. you play basketball? Yes, I can. Yes, I can yes, or I can. no, I cannot. Okay. How do you say, can you play basketball in Spanish? Jugar basketball. But the complete question? Puede jugar basketball? Yo juego. Yo ah. puedo jugar basketball. Puede usted jugar basketball? Yes. So, can you play basketball? You say, yes, I can. No, I cannot. I will be talking about that later. Vamos a estar hablando de eso más tarde. Okay. Uh, what else did we do? Give me one second. Hablamos de la forma gramática. Okay, la give me one second. Yes, give me one second. I'm sorry, somebody was at the door. Había alguien en la puerta. They were ringing the bell. Uh, and my wife is sick, so I, I'm the only one who can open the door. Okay, uh, what was I saying? ¿Qué les estaba diciendo? Sorry. What was I saying? Ken and Ken. Right, right, Ken and Ken, okay. What what other topics did we cover yesterday? The five state the or the new world. Right. 
the five different things you should know about vocabulary. Las cinco cosas, los cinco factores o elementos que usted debe de saber de toda palabra. What was number one? We're going to put pronunciation, Spirit. spelling, uh, or part, of. part of speech or part of grammar, part of speech. Meaning. Meaning, right. Pronunciation, spelling, part of speech, meaning, and how to use it. How to use it. How to use it. So, ¿cuál, ¿en dónde nos quedamos? ¿En qué parte de este tema nos quedamos? Pronunciation. En, el, en la terminación es ED, ED. Ok, ED, exactly. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments, people? No. Dijimos que de esas cinco habían tres que eran prioridad y eran dos que caían en segundo plano. Which two are secondary? Part of grammar and, and spelling. Exactly. Part of grammar and spelling. La parte de gramática que es la palabra in a real conversation, en una conversación real, usted no dice Ah, está ocupando adjetivos. Ah, está ocupando adverbios. No. So you don't use it. And also, in a real conversation, you don't use spelling. No ocupa el de letrar. No dice, ah, car, C-A-R. Oh, house, H-O-U-S-E. No practicamos eso en una uh, conversación real. Sin embargo, pronunciation, meaning, and how to use it are very important. Right? Questions or comments? Questions or comments, people? Okay, let me see this here. I'm gonna share this. Hmm. Give me a second. Do you have the books ready? Tienen ya los libros? No, teacher. No? Okay. Eh, eso estaría en la plataforma. Ahorita, ahorita se lo voy a enviar. Yes, I'm going to send you unit one to the WhatsApp chat. Give me a second. It's loading, está cargando. Give me a second, right there. So we're gonna go okay, right here. Thank you very much. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thanks. Sorry Good. I'm late. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so, uh, What's in the picture? What do you see in the picture? How many people are there? Two people. Okay, what are they doing? In interview. What is it? In... What are they doing it's... in the picture? In, in a meet. In a meeting. In a meeting. Okay, good, all right. Okay, so uh, the pre-listening says, what are some of your abilities? Are you a fast learner? So for this one here, pay attention to the pronunciation. Se les voy a leer yo la conversación. Usted en sus apuntes escribe la que siente que necesita más pronunciación o el significado de la palabra. Listen carefully. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, 
I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I'm a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Questions about vocabulary. Uh, teacher, what uh, is spread a spreadsheet? Cheese. Okay, spreadsheets. Alguien que me ayude a decir que es un spreadsheet? Una hoja de qué? Una hoja de cálculo. Una hoja de cálculo, exactly. Excel. Yeah, in Excel, exactly. Excel is very necessary in this world. You need to know Excel. Okay, questions or comments? Dice, we're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What's the meaning of branch? Es una sucursal. Very good, es una sucursal, very good. Y también significa rama, branches of a tree. Pero en este caso significa um, sucursal, exactly. Questions or comments? So aquí ya nos vamos preparando for a job interview, para una entrevista. So this is very normal. Si a usted le preguntan, can you use Excel? Can you use Excel in an advanced level? Probablemente usted diga, I don't have an advanced level of uh, of, of Excel, but I can learn. Or you can say, I'm a fast learner. Aprendo rápido. Questions or comments? Questions or comments, people? No? So, ahorita lo voy a poner a trabajar en pareja. Y si digamos Andrea y yo estuviéramos trabajando juntos, yo le preguntaría a Andrea, what are some of your abilities? Y ella me responde todas las habilidades que ella tiene. Are you a fast learner? Y eso tiene que tenerlo en cuenta a la hora que usted va a una entrevista en inglés. Uh, diga eso. I'm a fast learner. Y después de responder esas dos preguntas, after you answer those two questions, you guys will practice the conversation. So al inicio yo voy a ser André. Y ella será Ben. Cuando terminamos... Yo voy a ser Ben y ella será André. Me explico. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me make the rooms. Break our rooms. 22 people, that's a good number. this person to this one here and let's go si su compañero por haber razón no le responde levante la mano yo lo muevo let's go
este... Ahora sí, ya nos llamaron. Hoy sí, ya, ya. Muchas hello, gracias. hello. Hello, ah, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Pretty I'm good. Fine. How was your day? Very hard. Uh, hard. Hard, huh? Do you work Saturdays? I'm not. In my case, in my case, not teacher. Okay, not in my case. Not in my case. Not in my case. Not in my case. Okay. What about you, Carmen? Do you work Saturdays? Not teacher. Okay. I don't work at Saturday. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. Okay, very good. Let me visit another classroom. Okay. See okay. you. Le damos de nuevo. Hello, okay. people. Hello, Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. So, so. <laughs> okay. Did you have a nice day? Mm, yes, but uh, so I'm tired. Okay. Good, good, What about good. you? I had a nice day. I spent some time with my mother. I went to visit her. And we ate mangos and jocotes. We had a good time. Compartano. <laughs> <laughs> I will in the future. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me visit another classroom. Yeah. Dele. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vaya. Dele, si quiere comience. Rubén. Okay. Hello, Ben. And welcome, my name is Andrew Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big. Hello, Brent, and welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Well, we are offering a manager position for a branch. This meeting is being recorded. Estamos listos, teacher. You're finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let me visit one more classroom. Okay. Le damos la última. Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering the manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Um, well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage. O sea, pueden ser este aptitudes o, o talentos. ¿Verdad? Teacher. Yes, Ana Mercedes. One question. Yes. Eh, las habilidades tienen que ser acerca del trabajo o puede ser personal, de la vida. Uh, about uh, work. About work. Work. Porque está en una entrevista de trabajo. Mm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Y it's correct. Decir, I am smart for negotiation. I am smart for negotiations. Yes, it's valid. It's okay. valid. Yes. Okay. Se puede sustituir por in intelligent. Intelligent, smart, they are synonyms. Okay. They are synonyms. Yes. Thanks. All right. Let me assign someone else. All right. Uh -huh. Break our rooms, close rooms. See you soon. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Maricela? Fine, teacher, fine. 
Good, good. Are you resting in your house? Excuse me? Are you resting in your house? Are you resting? ¿Qué le pregunto a ella? Si está descansando en casa. Uh -huh, exactly. Are you resting uh, in your house? Yes. Yes, I'm oh, yeah. resting in my house. All right. Okay, let's wait for the other ones to arrive. Para que vengan todos. 20. And that's hello, it. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Noemi. How are you, Noemi? Fine, fine. Good, excellent. Sorry. It's okay. All right, so uh, congratulations. I was paying attention to you guys doing the reading. Y a pesar que terminaron rápido, dijeron, okay, let's read again. Let's read again. So that's the, that's the attitude. That is the, the, the secret uh, to success. The secret to success. ¿Qué digo ahí? El secreto del éxito. Very good. Secreto del éxito. Being persistent. Being persistent. Okay. So, uh, let me show you the, the conversation. Any questions or comments? What is the description about the man? What's his description? What is he wearing? What is he wearing? Is he wearing a t-shirt or is he wearing a suit? A suit. A suit, exactly. Suit. Yes, what color is the suit? Is uh, blue. What is, what is the suit? Uh, traje. Traje. Suit. Okay. Yes. Suit. So there are two men, one is wearing a blue jacket, the other one is wearing a gray jacket or a gray suit. How do you say gray corbata suit. in English? How do you say corbata in English? Eh, creo que es tie. Yes, it is tie. It is tie. Yes. Okay. And what else is he wearing? What else is he wearing? Glasses. 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 Yes, he's wearing glasses. Glasses. How do you say candado in English? Candado. How do you say cabra? She is oveja. Sheep is oveja. Goat significa cabra. Goat. Goatee, goatee means candado. Goatee means candado. So if you want to give the description, the physical description about a person, you need to manage a vocabulary to describe, vocabulary to describe people. Questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No questions? No. Okay, part three says get in pairs and discuss the following questions. What are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? And question number two, what are the qualifications for the work you do? Entonces, va a discutir, va a platicar las calificaciones o las características que tiene la, el, 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 para la gente que está aplicando en la conversación. En question number two, va a hablar acerca de los requisitos que se requiere para usted hacer su trabajo. ¿Me explico? Uh -huh. Are the instructions clear? Aquí es teacher, please. Yes. Sure. Ok, question one, según el diálogo que acaba de leer, what are the qualifications? Oh, the person needs to uh, know about spreadsheets. 
the person needs to know Chinese, for example, that is one. And then in the second questions, you will talk about the qualifications you need for your work. Las okay. calificaciones que usted necesita para su trabajo. Got it? Got it. Okay, very good. Uh, break our rooms. Recreate. Recreate. See. All right, so we are set. Everybody has a partner. That's good. And let's go. Reina Margarita. What are the qualifications for the work you do? Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. In the second is that answer. But in the first is speak Chinese and you... Bueno, yo, yo puedo hablar inglés. Uh, además, puedo gestionar pequeños y grandes proyectos y soy muy bueno en las ventas. Okay. Esas son las calificaciones. Y en los segundos. Teacher. Yes. Eh las calificaciones serían de nosotros mismos. Sí, correcto. ¿Qué, ah, okay. ¿qué características necesita usted para uh, hacer el trabajo que usted hace? Ah, ok, ok. Yes. Thank you. Bueno, y sí. <ríe> mm, aquí está el manual. Una sería, my skills are... Como, como dirigir. 
Ajá, sí, según el contexto, creo que a eso va dirigido. O administrar. Yes. No. Small and big projects. And big projects. Uh -huh. Ah, es big Chinese. ¿Cómo sería? Ah, ¿cómo, cómo? Big Chinese. Ajá. Chinese. Ajá, Chinese. Es big Chinese. En Houston. Hello. Hello. Ben. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Eh. I I am I I have a question. Yes, tell me. Ask me. Eh, en la en la segunda pregunta son habilidades que nosotros tenemos en nuestro actual trabajo. Exactly. Ah, okay. Exactly. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. Entonces sí, Rubén. Okay. In my case. I I am neat and fast. Patience. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you, Alex? I'm pretty good, teacher. Okay, what time do you wake up? Excuse me, can you, could you repeat that? What time do you wake up? Um, at 7 o'clock. A.M. 7 a.m. 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 Oh, that's not bad. 7 a.m. is not bad. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> What about you, Juan? What time do you wake up? Well, it is depend if I'm going to work. Um, when I am in day shift. I will used to wake up at 5.40 a.m. Okay. And if I'm working in nature, <laughs> I try to sleep the whole day. Yeah, can you sleep because I um Not much, not very well because it's very hot. Yeah, 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 it's... So it's so difficult to sleep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I try because I had to rest. Right. Because I got to work for five days in a row for night shift. Okay. And, yeah. And, and, where, and where do you work one? Um, I work in, in CSL, CSL, Kamalap. Is that is, a... Uh, at the airport. Okay, is that a gas station? No. No, it is the US Navy uh, base. Oh. Military base. Oh, okay. Good, good. Yeah. Nice. How much time have you been there? Um, I've been there work. I've been working there for uh, uh 18 months. Okay, a year and a half. Yeah. A year and a half. Good, very good. Okay, yeah. let me visit another okay. class. Hey, teacher, hard question. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know if someone is going to send the PDF, the book. Uh, I will, I will. Please. Yes, I'll do that. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, teacher. All right, good.
Ruben, Ruben. Hello, teacher. How are you, Ruben? Fine. Are you in your house or are you at work? In my house. In my house. Good, very good. All right. Let's wait for the others to come back. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Ricardo. How are you? I'm fine. Good. You. Very good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. So that is the word of the day. Excuse me? I work all day. You worked all day. I worked your day. Oh, my day was fine. Thank you. I had a nice day. Thank you, my Mike. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me share the image with you. Uh, I think it's this one here. Okay. Um, what are the qualifications for the work you do? Put them in the chat, right in the chat one. In my case, you need to be bilingual. That is one qualification for my job. Be bilingual. What about you guys? Una característica que sea necesaria para que usted pueda ejecutar su trabajo. In, uh, I, I can use spreadsheets. Computer skills, use spreadsheets, very good. Handle okay. the inventory, have a good customer service, very good. Can work under pressure, numerical ability. Yes. Can make budget. Make budgets, okay, make budget. good. Make agreements. Very good. In customer service. Good customer service. In my case, know about computer network. Very good. Be ordered in fast. Effective negotiation. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Good, good, good. Yeah, intelligent for negotiations. Intelligent for negotiations. Right. Okay, questions or comments? Good, this is good. Nice, all right. So let's continue. I need a volunteer to read this part, the blue part, the um, one that I just colored. A me teacher. Go ahead, please. Uh, you can when you want to know your abilities. Mm -hmm. You can't when you don't know how to do something. Okay. And, and what are the examples, please? Mm, I can speak three language. languages. Languages. Uh, languages. Uh-huh. Uh, I can speak, I can direct a small project. Okay. In the negative sentences? I can't use a spreadsheet, but I learn fast. Very good. And the last one? I can't use this program, but I am a fast learner. Very learner. good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So those are examples. Si usted por alguna razón va a una entrevista de trabajo y le preguntan, can you... Imagínese que no puede manejar de cambio usted. Can you drive a stick car? Can you drive standard? Usted dice, no, I can't, but I can learn. No, I can't, but you can teach me. No, I can't, but I'm a fast learner. No, I can't, but I have the ability to learn fast. So cualquiera que sea la pregunta, y si la respuesta es negativa, usted diga, sea sincero, porque tampoco hay que mentir. Pero dígale, aprendo fácil. Aprendo fácil. O oh, usted le dice, no, no puedo, pero me puede enseñar. All right, questions or comments. Ok. 
Okay. Now, part five says complete the sentences with the appropriate form of can. Observation. Aquí se lo voy a poner en el chat. Maybe. Can is for positives. Can is for negatives. But letter T, letter T is very soft. La letra T es bien suave. Entonces no diga can't, sino que es can't. It's a soft T. It's a soft T. Okay. All right. So uh, please do the exercise. Vamos a hacer exercise five. Go ahead and do it on your notebook. Uh, mañana les voy a enviar el PDF del libro para que lo tenga impreso de preferencia. Que lo tenga impreso de preferencia y los, lo tenga a la mano a la hora que usted quiera practicar. So, go ahead and do exercise five, please. Listo, teacher. Okay, volunteer for number one. I'm sorry. Me, teacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I can't help you today. I am really busy. I'm really busy. I'm really busy. Okay, good. Number two, I just me yes is it can or can't it's can't can't, can't. manage yes. to wake up on time i'm always late very good number three look it's right there can you see it can you see it's it? so obvious it's, it's so, so obvious. obvious yes very good number four i I can't. I can't. I can't speak, can't speak German. German. I live in Germany for eight years. Exactly. Exactly. And then number five, she doesn't have a driving license. She can drive. She can drive. She can't. She can't drive. Uh -huh. can. Negative. Negative. Exactly. She can't drive a car. Exactly. 
questions or comments? Sure. No? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce in number two? Okay. I just can't. It's negative. I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. Manage. Oh, manage. 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 Okay. manage. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. All right. Any questions in number five, people? Any comments? I direct on you a volume. A volume. Um, what do you mean, Juan Ricardo? A a Ludwig direct count to see a volume. Okay. All right, any questions in number five, people? Okay, number six, you have to personalize this exercise. Volunteer uh, to read the instructions, please. Uh, uh -huh. Complete. Uh -huh. Complete diagram. Uh -huh. uh, a complete diagram to can I do I me a bad quality in right and then second drawing. Diagram, then diagram. Drawing drawing. Chart, just a trail with the whole class. With the whole class, thank you. With your class. So, look yes. here. Aquí va a poner las cosas que usted puede hacer y las cosas que no puede hacer. Una vez esté listo estos seis espacios, lo vuelvo a poner a trabajar en pareja y usted va a compartir su compañero the things you can do and the things you cannot do. Are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Go yes, ahead. teacher. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Thank you.
Eh, hola, solo son tres, ¿verdad? Yes, Creo que son only, tres de cada three. uno. Ah, ok, ok. Tres de I can y tres de I can't. Muy bien, gracias. All right, are you finished? Are you finished, people? Yes, I finished. Okay, very good. So next step, I'm going to assign you to working pairs, break our rooms, recreate, recreate. Two people, two people. Very good. Attendance is very good, congratulations. So we add one here and let's go. Practice the things you can do and the things you cannot do. Let's go.
Hello, hello, Elsa, Kenya. Hello, teacher. How are, how are you? How are you? Fine. We, I am with, with Elsa Merino. Okay. And we speak that she can drive a car, she can cook, she can speak in public, and the things about she can do, she can do gymnastic, she can speak French, and she can cook a meat. Okay, cook good. Meat. Cook meat, okay. Elsa, what about Kenya? What things can she do? Kenya can use Excel, uh, play basketball, and drive a car. Good. She cannot do, speak Chinese, drive Chinese. motorcycle. Okay. Chinese. And cook a pizza. Good. Very good. Nice. Good. <laughs> Let me visit another classroom. Okay, teacher. See ya. Okay, teacher. Bye. See ya. Hello, Mercedes. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Okay. Good. Any questions okay. about the exercise? <clears throat> no, teacher. Everything is clear? Yes, Carlos? Well, I think so. Okay. We do three examples, everyone. Yes. Good. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. Let me visit yeah. another classroom. That's all. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Hello, Carmen. Hello, Hello Rafael. Teacher. Rafael tiene problemas, dice, con el audio. Okay. Su segundo nombre no es común en El Salvador. Rene. <laughs> Le diré que he conocido algunas. Really? Sí. Yo primera vez que lo escucho aquí en el país, en Estados Unidos, René es un nombre común, but not here in El Salvador. Inclusive sé de una persona que se llama Carmen René. Really? <laughs> y de ella he escuchado Daniela René, Carla René, Alejandra René. Ok. Y así con doble E. Con doble E. Ok. Todas con doble E. Pero eh, aquí lo pronuncian René o René. 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 Ok. Como, como, como con una ojos. E. Como con una E. Sí. Ah, en Estados Unidos, eh, René es con una E y René con doble E. Yo estuve buscando y, y una vez que el nombre René en español, tanto de hombre como de mujer, debería ser Renato y Renata. Oh, ok. Y, y que René, hombre o mujer, así como se pronuncia y como se escribe, eh, sería de, en Francia. Ok. All right. Yeah, Pero, René. No, hay mucho René. Ok. Yo primera vez que escucho a alguien, René, por eso me llamó la atención, René. It's not a common one. Ok, let me visit another classroom. Ok. Bye, teacher. See ya.
Any questions or comments about the exercise? Second, right here. We're missing four people or six people. Two, four, six. Yeah, six people. We're missing six people. Ya casi vienen de regreso. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you, Rafael? Okay, you're here. Uh, are, are you in San Francisco, Rafael? <laughs> yes. <laughs> San Francisco is the second most beautiful city in the world. ¿Qué digo ahí? Is the second la most segunda, beautiful. Uh -huh. La segunda ciudad más bonita. Okay. Mundo. What's number one? ¿Cuál es la uno? Ay, <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. El Salvador. El Salvador is first. Mire, es un país pequeño con tantos problemas, pero nuestro país es bello. So you have to be proud. Hay que estar orgulloso de donde somos. Ok, let me take attendance for the second time. Alex Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Juan Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you. William Pérez. William Pérez. Okay, he's absent. Oh, William Pérez, I see him. Yo lo veo. William Pérez, can you hear me? Hola, hola. Okay, can you activate your camera, please? Or are you eating? O está comiendo ahorita. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Jose Corea. Jose, Jose. Hi. Okay. Can you activate your camera, please? Jose, Jose. Where's Jose? I don't see Jose. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lisette de Paz. Lisette de Paz. No. Okay, so she's absent. Uh, Helen Barraza. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Reina Martinez. Reina Margarita. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. And that was it. Si no lo llamé. Um, so, a, a estas las personas que tengo. Yes. Eh, a mí no me llamó. Vamos a ver. Ni a mí, teacher. A mí tampoco. A mí tampoco. A mí, teacher. Okay. Creo que a la mitad no llamó, teacher. Ok. Let me double check. Eh, tengo presente. Tengo presente a Alex Martínez. Francisco Godínez, Delmi Gómez, Kenia Ruiz, Juan Manedemo, William Pérez, Susana Jiménez, José Corea, Judy Cuellar, Carlos Avendaño, Elsa Merino, Hoy sí, ya. Noemi Hoy Vázquez, no tengo, a Lisette, no tengo a Lisette de Paz, Aquí tengo a Rubén Campos, Helen Barraza, Moisés Rodríguez, Marisela Velázquez, Iris Cañas, Reina Martínez, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, Carmen Calderón, Andrea Vázquez y Ana Mercedes Amaya. ¿Quién falta? Mi teacher, Rafael Ramírez. ¿Were you absent yesterday? Uh, no Estuvo ausente que, ayer. Que, que, que. Ok. Estuvo, Estuvo ausente. Sí. Ok. Anybody else? Lo importante es que ya está acá. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? 
No? Okay, so let's continue with the class. Go here. Share. Okay, so every company has a mission. Every company has a vision. Mission, vision, mission, vision. He says, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Esta pregunta va dirigida, dirigida hacia usted. ¿Qué nos están pidiendo que hablemos? Ajá. Lo que hacemos en la compañía. Beneficios. Beneficio. Ajá. Tres cosas que usted contribuye a la misión de la compañía. ¿Y qué beneficios en particular usted provee a la compañía? Are the questions clear? Are the questions clear? ¿Están claras las dos preguntas? Ok. So now it's, it's my turn to model the conversation you should apply. He says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So it says, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. My experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company uh, as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Questions or comments? How do you say letras negritas in English? Worby. 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 No. Brilliant. Letras negritas. How do you say letras negrias in, in English? Brilliant. Son verbos modales. Sí, pero ¿cómo se dice la palabra negrías o negrita? Bold. Ah. Bold. Bold. Yes, bolder. Boleros, ahorita se los pongo en el chat. Boleros. Boleros. Letras negrías o negritas, son tipo C. Boleros. So, what is the function of bold letters? Resaltar una idea. Ok. Emphasize an idea. Yes. Or, or, or highlight. 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 What's the meaning of highlight, people? Eh, marcador. Subrayar. Okay. Eh, yeah, subrayar. O marcar. Highlighter con ER al final sí significaría el, el fluorescent marker. ¿verdad? Like this one. Fluorescent. Yes. Ok, questions or comments. Dice, I can say this would be, puedo decir que esto sería, cuando habla Kurt por segunda vez, I would be a great asset. Yo sería algo de valor. I could be. Yo podría ser. Questions or comments, people? What time is it? It is, uh, It's 9.35. Uh, no. In the... El tiempo de, del verbo. De como... Uh, de oh, oh, good question. Ese okay. verbo se le llama modal. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué modal? Porque le da una función específica al verbo. Let me give an example. And this explanation is for everybody. Fíjese bien. Good, good, so. Thank you. 
Podria. 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 I can say. Okay, you see the chat, the three examples that I just wrote? Good. Estamos so, hablando del verbo ir. How do you say I should go in Spanish? I should go. Debo ir. Mm -mm. Debería. Debería <laughs> ir. So imagine, I have fever. Pero que no, no se de pronto. I have fever. So I should go to the hospital. I should go to the hospital. Debería ir al hospital. Mm -hmm. I could go. How do you say I could go in Spanish? Podría, Podría. ir. Podría ir. Podría ir, pero trabajo ese día. Podría ir, pero mm -hmm. no tengo dinero. Podría ir, pero no me queda espacio. Podría ir. And the last one is I would go. How do you say I would go in Spanish? Debería. Mm -mm. Iría. Yo iría. Iría. Entonces, fíjese bien. Debería ir. Podría ir. Podría. Iría. And the three examples are completely different from each other. Y los tres ejemplos son totalmente diferentes a cada uno. A pesar que estamos ocupando el mismo verbo, el modal que estamos ocupando le da una función diferente al verbo. Questions or comments? Any questions, any comments? This is only the introduction. Es solamente la introducción a esto. Pero póngase en mente que los models, they give a specific uh, function to the verb. They give a specific function to the verb. Questions or comments? Yeah. Good. No. Ok. So, once again, va a trabajar en parejas, va a responder las dos preguntas que están en la parte uno, and also you need to practice the dialogue in part two. Got it? Got it. Got it. Good. Got it teacher. Very good. Vamos a ver. Break our rooms. Lo voy a volver a cambiar de compañero. Recreate, so that way you practice with different partners. Vamos a mover a este chico con ella y vamos a traernos a ella también para acá y de ahí todos quedan trabajando en parejas. Practice your pronunciation. Let's go. Vamos a, vamos a practicar la pronunciación y responder las dos preguntas respecto a lo que dice el diálogo. Exactly. Ok. Thank you. Sure.
Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Hello, hello. Helen hello, and teacher. Iris, how are you? Oh. Fine, are, fine. Are you practicing the dialogue? Yes, que ahorita queríamos contestar las preguntas. Pero oh, bueno. ok, ok, uh -huh. no problem. Ok. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. De la primera, can you name three ways to contribute to the company's mission? Dice, ¿cuál? ¿Cuáles serían algunos beneficios de tener Hello, Ana Mercedes. Hello, Maricela. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing the conversation? Y vamos a contestar la, la, la pregunta. Oh, ¿verdad? yes. Uh, answer the two questions. Yes. A eso íbamos. Ok. Very good. No problem. Teacher. Yes. Eh, en el caso de la primera sería one benefit. Ajá. Eh, un beneficio. No, ajá. Sería. Bueno, no sé si está bien. A quality to quality medicine. In oh. even low price. Even low price for the benefit of the consumer. Okay, that's good. That's good. Nice. Okay. Yes, very good. Se la voy a copiar, pero me la mía. Me cuesta, me cuesta. Comfortable. Okay. Empieza usted de nuevo. Okay. Kirk, how, how comfortable do you feel working in the Salis area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. that Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be here. How comfortable? How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my Permítame experience. que no le escucho porque ya se viene más fuerte la lluvia. Permítame. Bye. ¿Dónde está lloviendo? Where is it raining? Ella vive en los planes. planes. Oh my God. Is it raining hard or soft? Hard or soft? The rain. Hard. Very hard. Really? Gracias a Dios porque aquí carecemos mucho de agua. Ok. All right. Ojalá llueva aquí en el centro también. Una fuerte lluvia. Sí. El centro no está lejos de los planes. No, no, ya va a bajar. Ok. Uh, eso espero. Ok, let me visit another classroom. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. how are you? I, I'm, I'm confused. Good. Confused yeah, why? Got, we got confused. Why? Because I don't know if we are just going to practice the conversation or what? Yeah, all you need to do is answer the two questions in part one. And when you finish, you just practice the conversation. You practice your fluency and your accuracy. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's only practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the thing is that we, well, I didn't have the part one, just the conversation. 
Oh, okay. That's okay. You can you can share. Uh, you can practice the conversation only if you want. No problem. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah.
Any questions or comments about the last exercise, people? Yes, teacher. What is the pronunciation? Um, comfortable? Good. Eh, logré escuchar a varios de ustedes y en esa palabra en particular oí mispronunciation. Usted dice comfortable. Three syllables. Comfortable. 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 Comfortable, yes. Comfortable. Okay. Um, any questions or comments? Okay. Uh, who wants to volunteer to stay today? ¿Quién quiere voluntariar para quedarse hoy? Un par de minutos. Me, teacher. Okay. Delmi Guadalupe, very good. So the rest of the class, thank you very much. You have a good night. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Meet you tomorrow. Dios los bendiga a todos y a todas. Thank you. You too. Amen. Gracias. Okay, how are you? Hi, thank you. Good. Where do you work, Delmi? Where, do, Where do you work? I work in Nova Drugstore. Oh, okay. Uh, in Santa Tecla. Okay. How much time have you been in this drugstore? How much time? One year, two years, three years? How much experience do you have in, 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 in drug in drug stores? How much uh, time? Um, two years. Good, good. And do you live in Santa Tecla? Yes, I live in Santa Tecla. Next, next my work. Oh my God. Yes. That's good, that's good. So you don't worry about traffic? No. Good. No, no bus, no. I that's work. Near your house. That's good. That's a big blessing. Yes. Good, good. Do you have any questions about the topics we are covering right now? Or mm, anything from before? The um in the exam or in the Yeah, in, in the, the exam. The, la tarea. Homework. Uh-huh. In the homework. Okay. Um uh, two. Uh, de, de las que es de ordenar las palabras. Sí. Okay. So can you share your screen? Puede compartir su pantalla. Okay. No, usted ha deshabilitado esa opción. Oh, really? Let me see this. Uh -huh. ¿A dónde me tendría que ir? ¿A qué parte? Pues... Anyways, but, but what is the homework exactly? Eh, la, la dos. Que, es que la primera dice, Great study will be a proud its opportunity to a... Yo no, bueno, yo la había puesto, will be a study to a proud it. O si, o si me puede regalar un, un screenshot a, a mi WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Si le tomo una foto con su teléfono y me lo puede enviar. Uh, le hace un screenshot. Ok. No, no. Uh, 
se lo envié. Ok, let me check. Ok, ¿qué nombre me dijo? ¿Qué número, perdón? Este, la 1. Ok. Uh, on scramble. Ok, tiene que armarla todo. Recuerde, uh, are you new here? ¿O estuvo en el ciclo anterior? Sí, estuve en, el, en, en inglés 5. Ok. Uh, porque el, uh, hay veces que la puntuación es la que hace la diferencia. Digamos, si es una pregunta, tiene que poner el question mark. Si es una oración, tiene que terminarla con, con with a period. Um, ¿Y cuál es la respuesta que usted puso en la 1? Yo le puse, permítame. Will be study to approach it a great opportunity. Ok. It would be a great opportunity Uh, it, to study abroad. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. It, could, it would be a it good opportunity could, to study abroad. Got it? Be, uh, ¿Se la leyó? No. It could be a great opportunity to study abroad. It would be. Déjeme se lo escribo. It would be a great opportunity. opportunity to study abroad. What's the meaning of abroad? In el exterior. Exactly, in uh -huh. el extranjero, exactly. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. And really, entonces quítele el punto. No, no le puse punto. O oh, póngaselo entonces. Okay. Ah, ok. Hoy sí, teacher. Ok, very good. Y la número dos dice. Sí. A training for employees. Permita, permita. Ok. En cuatro minutos le marco, Alfonso. Bueno, bueno. Ok, give me a second. Uh, a training for our employees could be beneficial. Eh, veamos así. A training for our employees could be beneficial. A training for employees could be beneficial. Veamos. Trate con esa. Dice, a training for our employees could be beneficial. Así debería de quedar. Check. No. Uh, quítele el punto o póngaselo como le he dejado. Quita. No se lo quito. Ok. Igual me da error. Ok, entonces quizás poniéndole la la, la mayúscula. Si, no, si, sí, la, si la puso, mayúscula lo tengo. Va, entonces muchas veces, aunque la respuesta sea ilógica en decirle no la deje mayúscula, deje la minúscula, ahí está el, 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 la error. diferencia, correcto, así es. Ahorita. Okay. 
Igual, teacher. Ok. Va, entonces, si gusta, me manda, me manda un mensaje por WhatsApp. Y cómo se llama. Y yo lo reporto para que eh, la, la gerencia eh, eh, intervenga en la plataforma y diga por qué está mala. Ok. Yeah. Thank okay. you, teacher. Ok, thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night. See you bye tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.